Hey church family, Jamie here. So thankful we have technology to keep us connected during our time of separation. Let me ask you a question. How are you at taking tests? Whether it's a test that you know is coming or a pop quiz. Now if it's a test that you know is coming, you know what to do. You prepare, right? You look over the things that you've learned and read about and you study. You make sure you have a good understanding of all the material that's been covered, whether it was in class or through an assignment. The idea being is that you're the most prepared as you can possibly be. Now this preparation can be stressful in itself. Did I cover all the material? Am I putting in enough time? But because you knew the test was coming, you and you had time to prepare, you can have confidence that you will pass the test. On the other hand, a pop quiz can be totally overwhelming and send us into a state of panic and, and uncertainty. Even though we covered the same material, we often lack the confidence we should have because we think, I didn't have time to prepare. I'm not ready. And the feeling of uncertainty and panic can completely cause us to feel unequipped in that moment. I ask this question because in James chapter 1, James tells us to count it all joy, brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. James is giving us an imperative to count it all joy. He's calling believers to count any situation, no matter how difficult, as an opportunity for joy. It's not that every part of sufferings or trials is joyful, but however severe the suffering, every trial or, or testing, we can have joy because we know God is working in us even through the trial. And how do we know this? Because through our study of God's word, we have seen how he has been faithful to his people over and over again, even in the midst of trials. We have learned that in the darkest hours, he is still in control and his divine purposes will be accomplished. Paul tells us in Romans chapter 8, and we know that though, for those who love God, all things work together for good. Yes, trials and testing can cause us to worry or become anxious, but we are calmed and reassured by the knowledge that he is using trials to refine our faith and produce in us steadfastness. And that's what James goes on to tell us when he says, For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. James goes on to say, Let that steadfastness have its full effect. Unfortunately, we want the trial or testing to, that we are going through to be over as soon as possible. But this growth in steadfastness or endurance is a process we are called to submit to. It's the Lord's sanctifying plan for us. The process is not that we become a better person but that we are being transformed to be more and more like Jesus. Yes, the perfect and complete that James is talking about will ultimately be realized when we are glorified. But until then, he is working even in our trials and the sufferings and the testing. Paul puts it this way in Philippians, For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. On a personal note, this is how it's worked out for me recently in the last few days. A couple of days ago, my son called me and said he had tightness of chest and a fever the night before. In that moment, I could have panicked. I could have thought, wait, I'm not ready for this. I haven't had time to study. But then I recalled all the times that the Lord had been faithful. I'd read it over and over again in his word. And no matter the situation, he was in control. Thankfully, the fever broke for my son and he feels fine the next day and continues to feel fine. I've been thinking of the song that I've heard several times, and it goes like this. It's called Hope Has a Name, and I'll just read the first verse. There is a song, I know it well, a melody that's never failed. On mountains high, in valleys low, my soul will rest, my confidence in you alone. Hope has a name, and his name is Jesus. So my encouragement to all of us is this. Be studied, be steadfast. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. God bless you. You are loved. And Lord willing, we will be together again real soon.